Soul Wars was a piece of content I was never fond of Jagex dropping, especially with a pet tied to it. Minigames aren't my cup of tea in general, but pets are. Luckily, you don't actually have to play any actual games of Soul Wars to get the pet here. This method provides 1.2 mil GP an hour, and getting that little destructor very fast. Only about 30 hours on average. Which, compared to most pets, which are around 100, is not bad at all. This is a great pet to start with after you've got a relatively fresh ult. What are the requirements? The only stats you need on your main are high ranged and agility. Nothing concrete. Having Elite Void unlocked is also helpful here. Your ult needs at least 75 range to wield a blowpipe, and ideally have Rigor unlocked. Elite Void is better than regular ranged armor on your ult as well, but it's also unnecessary. Having an assembler on your ult is handy, as it will save you more ammo at Soul Wars, but I believe an accumulator will work just fine as well, you're just going to lose a little bit of the ammo. The hardest requirement is a locator orb from Dragon Slayer 2. You can technically use a Dwarven Rock Cake, but it is a lot more annoying to use than an orb. For gear, you're going to want this on your main. Max range with Void and Dark Bow with Dragon Arrows. Run energy is a concern here. You can wear Ring of Endurance here if you have one with Pegasian Boots. I don't currently, so I wear Graceful Boots and Archer's Ring. In your main's inventory, you bring a Blowpipe and Runes for Telegrab. On your ult, it's the same, but with only a Blowpipe. Feel free to downgrade gear anywhere as needed. It is not a huge deal. In the ult's inventory, you just bring the Locator Orb and that's it. Dragon Darts from both accounts will make this method even more lenient, but they aren't necessary if you want to save money. Amethysts are perfectly fine. The easiest way to get to Soul Wars is from the minigames teleport. The portal to it is located in Edgeville. When you get here the first time, use your Ava's device on both accounts on Nomad here. You're forced to use a Soul Wars cape in the minigame, but this will allow it to save ammo as well. On both accounts, set your quick prayers to protect from melee, preserve, and rigor, and turn on accept aid as well as auto retaliate. We're going to be using the clan portal for this, so join your own clan and have your ult also join his own clan. Enter the eastern portal surrounded by lava on both accounts, and then right-click challenge on both, accept, and you'll start the game. This method is fairly rigid, and you have to play on two accounts at once, which is going to take some getting used to, but it is also fairly lenient timing-wise. On both accounts, grab multiple potions from the table in the lobby and exit, heading towards the main area and throwing on your quick prayers on both. The potions provide prayer and a near overload stat boost, so you don't need to worry about prayer at all. Sip a dose as you run on both accounts, and locator orb down your ult as you go. Each account is going to head to the opposite side of the soul obelisk to the north or south, and start killing ghosts. The goal is to get a total of 28 to 32 fragments from the ghosts combined on your accounts. This usually means getting 8 to 12 fragments on your main, and 16 on your ult. Once your main has roughly that many fragments, have him start running towards the center obelisk while placing your ult in range of your main's dark bow. Don't walk past the ruins on your main, as you are capping the obelisk by standing in the area and need that to continue. Spec your ult with your dark bow. The spec is guaranteed 16 damage at minimum, and is 10 tile range, which is why it's really good here. When your ult dies, telegrab the fragments he collected from across the river, then go near the obelisk and wait for it to get capped. Uh, this is indicated by the color changing, and the bar at the top left is going to fill up when you're done. When it's capped, sacrifice your fragments to it and begin running to your ult's base. As you run, on your ult, click on the portal and ready the exit text. On the main, simply run to the avatar and begin blowpiping it. We need to hit a minimum contribution of damage to get points. This is roughly 300. It's a bit less depending on how many fragments you deposited before. Watch the clock carefully. As soon as it reaches 1210, have your ult leave and forfeit the game. This will end the match and, assuming you met all the criteria, award you 19 zeal. The pet is obtained by buying Spoils of War from Nomad for 30 zeal, providing a 1 out of 400 shot at the pet. These also provide a moderate amount of GP, an average of 97k GP in value each. Each game takes 2 minutes and 50 seconds. If you are really fast, you can get the next game started in 10 seconds pretty easily. At 3 minutes a game, 19 zeal per, this comes to 380 zeal per hour. You need an average of 12,000 zeal for the pet, so that comes to 31 and a half hours to get that. Not too bad. You can also grab the Soul Wars cape here if you really want it. It's 2,500 zeal and it gives 8 prayer bonus. By far the best in slot. I personally wouldn't bother getting this. It's a 6.5 hour grind for plus 2 prayer bonus over the Arty Cloak 4. And in most cases where a prayer bonus cape is helpful, a hit points cape is more helpful. You can also get the Ectoplasmator here 
which when killing ghosts provides 20% of the ghost's hit points and prayer XP when killed. It's an incredibly minor effect, but it only costs 250 zeal to buy. You can use it for some minor benefit in NMZ, as a lot of the monsters are ghosts as well as Anku tasks. It's up to you whether this is worth a little over a half hour to grab. And that's it for the video. Leave a like if you liked it and or subscribe. Thanks guys.